Reading Colleen Hoover is like listening to Taylor Swift. I hate it. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that might actually get me axed, but I don't care. I have to admit it at this point. I absolutely hate reading Colleen Hoover, but there are some exceptions to this. So if you guys are ready, then I'm ready and let's get into it. First, I want to make a disclaimer. I do think Colleen Hoover and Taylor Swift are both very talented writers. They got their thing on lock, but there's certain concepts that I just cannot get over. And I'm so confused why people can get behind so fast that I want to talk about today. And I also want your guys' opinion in the comment sections below. So definitely don't be afraid to leave them. Today I'll be referencing two books which is Reminders of Him and Rarity. If you guys are not interested in spoilers then definitely don't spoil yourself. Um, I might be mentioning a couple of things here and there but without further ado I'm just gonna get into it. So first things first I want to talk about Rarity because of how much I actually loved that book. I adored that book so much that I did so much research after I read it. I actually read um, a lot of Reddit posts about Rarity and the alternate meanings of the letter at the end of the book and I also have read a lot of things on what they think about the main character, who she is, why she's like that, all this other crazy stuff and I absolutely recommend that book because that is a book that made me want to read so much more Colleen Who and unfortunately it led me to hate the rest of all of her other writing because nothing compares to the way that Rarity was for me and Rarity was the type of book that I read and I felt like I could reread over and over and over again and get a different perspective I also wanted to go back and annotate that book unfortunately I do think I left it at my job and I wanted to do specific references from that book in this video but that is okay we can do that later at a different time if we really want to get into it because that book is a book that I don't mind mind rereading and getting into like so many different details on that being said <laughs> While I do praise that book, I did read Reminders of Him, and that was the book that led me to utter freaking disappointment and made me make the decision to never read another Colleen Hoover book again because I knew that Rarity was kind of a special case in the type of themes and plot line that it had, and it her books more lean towards Reminders of Him than it does anything else, and I knew I was going to just hate the rest of her books. Let's get into that. So Reminders of Him is a book that starts off with a woman who had lost her mans in an accident and everyone in her hometown blames her for it and she even gets her child taken away and the entire book is her fighting for custody over this child and how distraught she is that she lost her and all this other crazy stuff and right away we're introduced to the man's best friend, the dead man's best friend, just so you know, and he instantly falls in love with her he's never met her before I'm pretty sure like she was someone that he briefly knew but he doesn't know at the moment that that's the woman I think I don't even necessarily remember because I read this a long time ago my dad and this instant moment of I can't live without her in the first 10 pages got me gagged as fuck I was so confused and it felt way too instantaneous and way too like convenient I was like okay so magically she's conveniently like the bombshell he can't live with that i'm like bro you know for a dumb diddy fat in real life there's no way this man would see this bitch come in here looking all fucked up drugged up and depressed and is like you know what she seems like the bitch for me i love her and her nasty ass dirty ass sweatpants she wore for five days get out of here like that is something about colleen hoover that i kind of do not vibe with is the instantaneous love story that booms out of nowhere and he doesn't even know that his best friend is freaking dead maybe because of her i don't freaking know i didn't even finish the book and also that she lost her damn child <laughs> like you're gonna tell me he looked at her and was like oh she looks so broken I love that maybe honestly knowing people nowadays maybe that it was actually a thing maybe that really happened because you know we all know bitches nowadays are down bad and will date anything that literally can chirp at them like the birds outside so maybe that is true either way I don't agree. Another thing that like rubs me the wrong way is like even when he finds out that she has something to do with her best friend's I mean, his best friend's death, he kind of just breezes past that. Like apparently that's not that big of a deal. You know what I mean? It's not that big of a deal that 
his best friend has died and now he's going to get with his girl and apparently everyone thinks that the child is safe without her and yet he's off showing the entire freaking like tri-state area just kidding he's not really doing all that he just takes photos of this little girl and like gives it off to the mom like that's appropriate to do and that completely disregards the way that the guardians feel about the mom in the first place i just think that that concept is just so weird and poorly approached and i don't really like the fact that like it's negated all of these supposed alleged horde things that she did and how this man is so accepting of it right away even though of course he also grew up in this middle of nowhere town and only has what he's heard about her and but it's all rewritten and all okay because he saw her and it was love at first sight are you fucking kidding me like you cannot make me even believe the fact that he was totally fine with it in the end and i think that in order for this book to make more sense to me it would have needed to have a different approach and i also don't think the instantaneous love story should have been so fast and lovey-dovey and like i don't think it's realistic like i genuinely thought at first when i read this book that i was like I was like the main problem but I realized it was truly the approach on this heavy topic I think it was done in a way to make me believe that it's all kind of like kids play like it's a topic that can easily be um you know tied up in a bow and finished off and if the person is understanding that's all you need but he should be having some sort of hurt he should be somewhat bothered but to me it's like they wrapped up his feelings neatly in a bow and kind of washed it away and I'm like I guess they weren't that close of friends like I feel like this amount of trauma and this amount of problems wouldn't be washed away in a little under a year I feel like those problems would extend way beyond that and she literally hid so much about herself in the first place so it's like so you trust her because you fell in love in first sight really also I don't even really believe in love at first sight so that might also be the issue where it's like there is no damn way like you can think someone's hot as fuck right when you first see them but it's not like you would give up your entire being and more morals for them because at that point he's giving up his morals he's giving up his best friend like I just don't understand how there can be this sudden you know you know the galaxies or the stars are combining what the frick is that phrase i don't know the stars are aligning and before all the hoovers come and hate on me don't worry guys i have absolutely nothing more to say about this like i i have nothing more to say i've read two books of hoover and only one i really loved and appreciated the next one i was like wait shit fuck what did i do to myself i hate this bullshit and i want to die I wanted to die. I don't know why in the fuck people read her books and sob over it. You know what I mean? Like the people that were like, I put down this book in the next chapter because I couldn't handle it. I'm like, handle the fuck what? Handle what? Some weird ass man that fell in love with his dead best friend's woman and then proceeded to actually support her in trying to fight her custody battle for her child that honestly the whole town thinks that she shouldn't have because she supposedly had so many different problems. And of course, they all do think she's at fault for this man's death. So why would they want her to keep her daughter in the first place? Like... It's the fact that he believed this random stranger that came back into town and he has not had any sort of contact with this bitch and you're going to make me think that he does not at some point hate her. I'm going to eat this mic because I'm so mad. Okay. Oh, fucking okay. And that's exactly why I put the book down. Because, you know, I did. I went to Barnes and Nobles and I tried to read a page out of Ugly Love and also some other couple of books of hers. November 9 as well. Absolutely not. Absolutely the fuck not. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I ain't boo boo the fool. You ain't gonna treat me like I'm in. Absolutely not. 
some ghetto country love story. That is what that is. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Ghetto country love story. That's all this video is. I literally have nothing else to say. Like, what else am I supposed to say? Goodbye.